Hey guys, Jonathan here with TLD. Got a rundown of Mac OS X Lion, or actually, I should say OS X Lion. Uh, Apple has dropped the Mac in front of the name. Nonetheless, it's going to be available this July for $29 to the Mac App Store. So, the downside to that, if you currently have Leopard, you must upgrade to Snow Leopard to gain access to the Mac App Store. And from there, you can upgrade to Lion. Now, I know some of you guys are going to be having questions. So, for those of you wondering how big Lion is, it's actually a 4 gig download, something too painful. Uh, and secondly, if you guys are curious, how would you do a fresh install of Lion? From what I've read, you can actually download it to a USB drive and install it that way, just in case you want to do a clean install. Now I'm going to give you guys a rundown of the top 10 features Apple took us through at WWDC. There's actually over 250, but let's go ahead and start out with number one. And that is multi-touch gestures. Now apps will actually be controlled through multi-touch gestures, such as three-finger swipes, scrolls, pinching, and zooming. Number two is full-screen apps. So very similar to that of what you've seen on the iOS devices, we will now see full-screen applications on our desktop or laptops for those you guys being a smart number three is mission control what this is it's basically an expanded expose all of your apps open in an instance and they're grouped by each application number four will be the Mac App Store it's not really new but it's actually gonna be built into OS line and from there you'll be able to do in-app purchases kind of similar to what we can do on iOS devices now number five is called launchpad so that actually looks pretty cool you're gonna do a little pinch motion and all your apps are gonna be brought up to the screen so if you guys aren't catching on to a little drift a little things looking familiar uh, it's looking a lot like an iOS platform brought to the desktop form factor. Number six is resume, so when you launch an app, it's going to bring you back to where you previously left off. Number seven, that kind of goes hand in hand, is auto save, so you don't have to worry about saving it. If you mess up, it automatically saves it, so you don't got to worry about doing that just in case the worst happens. Number eight is versions. Essentially, it's like a time machine for your documents, so you can actually go back and see previous versions of what you did, maybe three documents ago or three revisions ago. That looks pretty cool. Number nine is called AirDrop. What that's going to do is kind of essentially replace a USB drive. So if you have users in a specific network, you can actually pick them, send a file, and bam, they got the file. Number 10 is an improved mail. I'm not going to go over the complete rundown, but what you need to know is it's going to look a lot similar to iOS devices again. So I think we have a theme here. What I really look forward to is they're bringing conversations in the mail application. And other than that, that's just kind of a quick rundown of Mac OS, excuse me, OS 10 Lion. Uh, I keep forgetting they removed the Mac out of there. So make sure to check out our previous videos. This is a really, really busy day. We got E3 coverage or WWDC coverage. Lots of videos for you guys to check out. As always, feel free to subscribe and I will catch you guys later.